Hi there, my name is Liz and I'm part of the Women v Cancer Ride the Night organising team. We are really looking forward to seeing you on May the 31st at the Royal Windsor Racecourse where the event will begin and end. Thank you so much for taking part. Your effort means a great deal to us. We are really excited about this event and you're raising much needed funds for three very important charities. In this short video, I'm going to talk to you about the event and how best to prepare yourself, not just for riding in the dark, but for riding through the night. Two weeks before the event, you will receive your rider manual and this will give you the final details that you need. However, at this point, you need to be thinking about the practicalities of the day and evening itself. How are you going to travel to Windsor Racecourse? Do you need accommodation in the area? And if so, and you haven't booked it yet, now is the time to. Most importantly, you need to think about how you're going to get home after such a long night. We advise that you take as much rest as possible on the day of the event. And so, at this point, you want to consider how you might be able to build that into your plans. You need to think about what clothes you're going to wear for the event. Helmets are obligatory. You cannot ride without one. So please remember to bring it. Layers of clothing are best. We hope for a lovely warm evening, but even so, in the wee small hours of the morning, it can get very, very cold. So make sure you're prepared. It also might rain. And so you need to think about what sort of waterproof clothing you will wear. There is a best dressed rider competition and we can't wait to see that. But whatever it is you decide to wear, please train in those clothes so that you can make sure that nothing rubs in unexpected areas. And whatever you wear, you need to be both warm and dry. I'm back outside to talk to you about visibility, one of the most important things to think about in advance. We will be issuing you with one of these high-vis vests, but crucially, they have reflective strips on them. Any clothing that you can choose that is reflective will make it easier for other people to see you after dark. In the night, bright colours don't really mean anything, but reflective clothing does. Now I want to talk about lights. Obviously, on a night event, your choice of lights is very important. There's a huge range out there, but the brighter the light, the more easily you will be able to be seen, but also the more easily you will be able to see. Lights like this allow you to see what's in front of you. Much of the route is very well lit with street lighting, but in the darker areas, with lights like this, you will be able to see the road surface in front of you and the signs. You should have two lights on the front of your bike and two lights on the back of your bike. And you can even have additional lights on your helmet, both front and back. And you will need to make sure that your batteries are charged and carry spare batteries to make sure that you have light at all times. And so to your bike. Make sure your bike is booked in for a service with a week or two to go before the event. There are mechanics on the night, but it's best that your bike begins in peak condition. And if you don't own a puncture repair kit and a pump, when you have your bike serviced, ask them to recommend something suitable for your bike. On the night, you will need a mobile phone with you one that is both fully charged and waterproofed. A small plastic bag will do. In the rider manual, there will be some important telephone numbers that you should enter into your phone. Those will be the numbers for both mechanical and medical assistance. However, do not use your phone 
whilst you are riding. Always stop if you need to make a call. And so to the ride itself. We know that you have all been training very hard and we hope that you're feeling confident. Many of you are very experienced riders, but if you have not yet had the opportunity to practice in the dark on well-lit urban roads, now is the time to do so. Most of this route goes through urban and residential areas with excellent street lighting. And so it's best to have experience of riding in those conditions. You need to be confident riding in traffic. Even though this event takes place at night, traffic in certain areas, especially in central London, may at times be quite heavy. You need to be confident changing lanes, and there are several major roundabouts. There are no road closures for this event, so at all times you will be riding in normal traffic conditions, and therefore you need to be a responsible road user be mindful of your own safety at all times and follow the highway code. The route will be signed by us using these enormous yellow and black signs. You'll find them at very regular intervals throughout the course. Make sure, however, that you do look for the signs yourself, even if you're riding in a group, so that both you and the people you're riding with go in the right direction. There will also be some marshals on the course at certain intervals, and of course our feed stations, which will be at approximately every 20 kilometres. A quick word about feed stations. They will be at approximately every 20 kilometres. And when you get there, you will find nutritious snacks, treats, delights of all kinds, and of course, booze. You should begin the event with two full water bottles on your bike. And you'll be able to refill those bottles at the feed stations. Of course, you don't have to stop if you don't want to. And it is important to say that these are feed stops and loo stops, not rest stops. And although you may want to take a short break, it is really important not to stop too long and lose both vital heat and momentum. The most important message for this event is proactivity. We like to call it the ask and offer attitude. Ask if you're unsure about anything. Ask if you need help. Call from the road if you need our support but equally offer. Offer if you see someone who looks like they could use a hand and you think you can help. Offer to ride with someone if they look like they're struggling. We want to stress that this is a supportive event. Many of you are riding with your friends or in groups, but this event takes place at night. And so we don't want anybody out there feeling by themselves. You will see some women with the phrase ride angel on the back of their vests. They are volunteer riders who are there especially to help and support and to ride with you if you would like them to. There are 2,000 of you taking part and so there may be moments where you find yourself waiting, perhaps at the start or perhaps for a loo. We will try our best to minimise all those waits but a generosity of spirit and a sense of humour will definitely come in handy. One of the special circumstances of riding at night is that we can't make as much noise with cheering and support as we might on another event. Because we're riding through residential areas, we need to be mindful of the fact that many people will be tucked up safely in their beds. That's why the rider to rider support is so important. You will find us out there cheering in some places, but there won't be that many. However, we will be rooting for you the whole way through and we will be there at the end to greet you. Cycling 100 kilometers is a great physical achievement 
and it's an even greater achievement at night. A positive mental attitude for the tougher sections of the event is worth thinking about in advance. Prepare to be challenged. From our experience, tiredness hits different people at different times. And for those moments, you'll want a strategy. Perhaps you'll have a good chat with someone else on the ride. Perhaps you'll be able to call to mind easily the reason why you're out there. Maybe it will be a favourite song to sing to yourself or a treat to reach for. It will be different for all of you. Please don't wear iPods while you're riding, but you might want to play an uplifting song to yourself when you get to a feed station. Most of all, it's important to conserve energy before the event so that you can employ these strategies when you're out there and stay sharp and focused throughout the whole ride and keep yourself safe. Most of all in advance of this event, please be really proud of yourselves for choosing to take part. Your challenge helps those who are facing huge challenges themselves. Have fun getting ready and we'll see you at Windsor.